So round one is another nice and easy round, um, but just in case you're not too sure where to join the yarn or how to join the yarn, um, you're not going to be joining into a stitch as normal. So you'd normally kind of go um, into the stitch where the two legs of the stitch are over the top of the hook. You're actually going to go between two trebles. So if you sort of just pull those slightly apart, you'll see that you're gonna go under everything that makes up that top stitch. All right, and uh, you will pull through your yarn. This is how we're going to join any new colour in. And then just yarn over and pull through again just to secure that in place. That's not going to count as a stitch. That's just going to be us um, changing yarn colour and working, in this case, with parchment. Okay, so um, we're now going to start the round proper and I'm going to put a double crochet into that same space there. That's my first actual stitch. All right, and that's all I'm going to do all the way around, just make stitches between those trebles. So just making sure you're not going into any element of the stitch at the top, go straight between those trebles all the way around. Okay, once you're back to the beginning, before you slip stitch to join, if you want to, you can put your hook under that first little loop and remove that because that is just the joining strand so that you don't have any extra little bits of yarn in there you don't have to do that but it does leave me a nice neat place to, to slip stitch to join the round and if i snip and pull that through okay that is what round one will look like <laughs> 